Hello, it's MJ, and I'm your Atlas to Life. I'm a tarot card reader, but I also do informational videos because there's a lot of information and we need to spread it around so people understand and can do their jobs better. This specific video is about twin flames and we all find out about them and want to know exactly what they are and we want to know why we feel drawn to these people. So em3dj3 at gmail.com is my email address and my paypal and i am dollar sign melinda m-e-l-i-n-d-a clevenger c-l-e-v-e-n-g-e-r on the cash app and all of my other information will be listed below for your convenience I'm going to explain here now that me personally, as one of the collective chosen ones who is here to raise the vibration on this planet and save the earth, I feel that it is my duty to share the information that was given to me by my spirit team and guides to help you understand it better as it is coming up for you here and now during your ascension and as you are coming into your own light and finding out what your job jobs actually are during this lifetime and I can remember back in 2017 when I was figuring all this twin flame stuff out on my own and then how in 2018, when the twin flame information began finding me and how much that really helped me to understand it all a little bit better or, you know, even better. Cause I had found a lot of that within myself and started to really figure it out and come to terms with it. It was all starting to make sense for me back then. All right, and I wanna help you as well. So like and this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos in the future as you're getting closer to and closer to full enlightenment and serving all of your life purposes too and if there are any specific areas where you have questions you need answered then please comment below so I can make videos on those topics too and help you out as much as I can it's my pleasure. I do it with love. Okay, so question number one. What is a twin flame? Four reasons that would be too long and lengthy to describe to our human brains and that your body, your soul knows about already. Deep within you. And you know, you're finding this stuff out slowly, but for reasons that our human brains can't understand, and there's probably multiple reasons here, some souls are being split. I've heard theories of, you know, purgatory or punishment from past lives, but I've also heard stories where it's more or less You're such a great soul of extreme purpose that it needs to be split. And there's many theories as well that there's more than one split and it's not just one. It's not just a twin anymore. Okay. So the other half of your soul is inside of another human body. And this works well because your specific vibration can be in more than one place and it's needed at both of those places and everywhere in between and everywhere that the two of you share energy with others. 
because you are healers. You are here for specific jobs and you've been placed where you need to be. Question number two, why do I have one? Because with this world rapidly ascending, what you have to offer is of great importance. And each and every interaction that your soul can help heals the planet. As I was saying, by having a twin flame, why do I have one? It's to help me find myself in another, which helps me become enlightened and ascend more progressively and quicker because it needs to be happening fast. The time is now. So by splitting us up, they were making this progression much more rapidly experienced. Number three, how do I know who my twin flame is? You know who your twin flame is because when you meet them, you are so drawn to them in a way that your energy matches their energy and it feels very familiar. You just know when you see this person, they are your perfect counterpart. It's all the butterflies inside. It's, you know, seeing yourself in another person, like I had said, and it's fate. So it's usually chance encounters that can be very romantic indeed because when these two people find each other, themselves in another, they stop everything they're doing at that moment some, in some cases and they just have to be together. And if it doesn't work out like that, you just can't get that person off of your mind. They're once you've seen them in the flesh, your body, mind, and soul, spirit can make the connections. And if it doesn't happen right away, that's fine, but it, it'll figure out that every time in childhood or throughout your whole entire life, they've been with you. They've been experiencing, <clears throat> excuse me, of course it's allergy season, <laughs> look around. They've been experiencing the same types of life, the same hardships, the same experiences. There's mirroring going on. You cannot believe the similarities in your lives, you just say, wow. And you are almost already know everything before they even tell you because until you're, you know, together, working together to telepathically communicate, your, your mind, your third eye is doing that anyways. It's a really beautiful feeling. And if you're at a distance, you'll be talking on the phone and you'll just, it, it'll be uncanny. It will take your breath away. It will amaze you. And it actually usually pushes you to like, I can't even understand how this is possible, especially before people started sharing the information about the twin flame stuff. It just felt like, oh, that must be my soulmate. Well, it's more than that. But you'll just know. Your conversations will come easily. You'll wanna tell each other everything. They'll listen completely and fully. Um, you, you work at the same rhythm, so you won't be interrupting each other in your conversation. And they actually care what you have to say to them. And you feel their emotion as they're speaking to you because of the link. You've experienced the things in their past and they've experienced yours. So of course, it's all very close and 
you know, it's intimate in a way that's hard to explain with human words. So, you know, question four is really what all do I share with my twin flame? And the easiest way to explain this one for me, for others to understand well, I need you to get a tarot deck and only look at the major arcana. These major arcana cards go, you can look it up online if you don't want to buy one, but I do recommend having one because if you have a twin flame, you can communicate through tarot cards. You're open to that psychic and channeling that vessel is open in you. You've been doing it with your flame your whole life. Okay, but, and plus you have that inside information because you understand what's going on where they are too. Even if you're thinking mind doesn't know it. So you have the, you know, upper hand by having access to more than one area. And the where, like that, you know, what's going on in those places, the feel of the world. And that's interesting to mention because most twin flames, one of them just can't be home. They can't stay there. They want to travel. And then the other one, whether they know it or not, is generally sticking around that area because deep down they know that that way the other flame knows where they are if they ever need to find them. Okay, so get yourself a tarot, you know, reference and check out the major arcana cards. They go through an entire life span or, you know, each life cycle. And some people say there's four major life cycles, just like the seasons, but it starts out with the fool and it ends with the world. And some of the decks, it's called different things, but they go from card number one or zero, excuse me, to card number 21 and it ends up being 22 cards and what the reason that I'm bringing that into this is because this helps you understand that the two of you are one and the same and at every single given moment each and every one of the characteristics of that cycle is being represented just split between the two of you so once you know who they are and once you know you, you're connected with your telepathy and, you know, guidance and things like that, you can fully understand that half of these are representing one twin and half of them are representing the other twin. And that's why you're drawn to each other or because in, in flames, sometimes you're repelled by each other as well. And these are just to push you through the cycles. You can't work through and start your next cycle until your twin has worked through all of those things too. And the cosmos have a way to make that happen. There's a lot of divine assistance going on because they need us to be fully enlightened and ascend right now here in 2020. And I think that the full living in one love and unity is 2021 for all. Number five, can we still raise the vibration of this planet if we are not together? And as it's an absolute yes. In fact, depending on your specific circumstances, you may be raising the vibration of the planet better when you are apart. With this twin flame stuff, they meet, they live apart, they reunite. And even if that stuff's not physically, just a conversation with this person on the phone is more meaningful than real interactions with other people. Or, you know, just even a, a hookup or connection with your, your third eye stuff, just to feel your own vibration. It's your comfort zone. And you're gonna dip in and out of this until a full union does occur. And I don't necessarily believe that, that that is for everybody because of this question right here. Sometimes you are meant to be in different places. 
there's too many complicated reasons for our thinking minds to understand, but this comes to past life stuff. You know, it also, it talks about, or it, it would go to universal factors that are above and beyond our control. And our angels and guides are taking us where we need to be at every moment. It's in the works so we can serve best. Question number six. Should I tell them when I know about them? I can tell you from my own personal experience and from what I've heard other people say, it's not a good idea to tell them. Show them with feelings. Don't be too needy from them. Let the universe do that part. Let the powers that be Bring you two together when you need to. If you try and force it, they're going to shut themselves off to the idea completely. And they're probably going to say you're a crazy nut or something because they don't know about it yet. Or they do and they're fighting it within themselves because they don't want to be a not whole being on their own. You know, that's it's harder. And, and the, you've got the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So these are the forces within us, the harmony and balance that we're battling always. And then add on, you know, that extra party and that makes it very confusing. When the time is right, they'll know too. And let the universe do that part and guide them. So no, you really shouldn't tell them. You can share your, you know, third eye communication in a beautiful ways with them. There's kundalini activation you can do and just keep yourself at the highest positive energy that you can maintain, always. And they'll be drawn to you. You'll be manifesting them because they'll wanna feel your, the way you're feeling and they'll come right to you. They will be the ones being drawn. Just be the best you can be. Question number seven, um, not every twin flame is your soul or life mate. So if this is happening, how do we come to terms with that? We stay mindful of our environment. We stay grounded and connected and part of one with the flow. And we follow its lead. We follow our spiritual guidance. We ask them for help. And they comfort us. They heal our wounds and help us to understand the bigger cause. How do we know about this and not take action and give it to the universe? We do this by sharing our love with others, by healing the planet, by taking the opportunities we can to help. And it comes back to us. a hard thing to swallow sometimes because you want them you need them but it just makes you stronger maybe your flame needs you to be stronger right now to hold the fort down for them I mean that's the way it works and then in your weak moments they're strong for you and balances it all out that yin and yang that the two of you are question number eight and I stuck with eight questions because eight is the number of manifestation and we can all use some financial help. So eight, 88, eight, 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 you know, bring in some help universe so we can serve better and without those low worries as, as well. So question number eight is, will we be connected forever? And the answer to that question is yes. 
infinitely. You've been bound together. You've been one soul since the beginning of time. And you will be one soul forevermore. So before when we were talking about just trying to understand why you're not together right now or how you can come to terms with that and let the, the universe do it, um, you can really just wait it out. This is only one lifetime in the span of eternity. And just know you'll be connected forevermore and you'll always have each other. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. I just enjoy spreading the love. And I did this out in nature because it's a beautiful day. Weren't the birds pretty? Oh my gosh. They were chatting with us too. They, they liked my, my story to them. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what videos you want to see next. And come back to check out my channel and see what all I've, I'm making and talking about because there's a lot of information we need to know and spread around so we can all do our part and serve here on earth like i said before my email address is e m three d j three at gmail.com and i'm e m three d j three at paypal as well on the cash app, I am dollar sign Melinda Clevenger, M E L I N D A C L E V E N G E R. And all my other links are listed below. Stay grateful, stay thankful, and we will all be blessed collectively. See you next time. Love and light to you. Peace and namaste from MJ. Your Atlas to Life. Three, two, one.